Montese is famous for its potatoes, and Domenica is famous for her potato gnocchi. Io sono Domenica, vi faccio gnocchi di patate di Montese. Va bene? Ha detto bene? La rende più la margarita. You need flowery, dense potatoes. While the chopped potatoes are simmering, Domenica makes a tomato sauce using vegetables from her garden. Carota, sedano, eh, cipolla, scalogna, e eh, così. And her own bottled passata. E poi gli ho passato due passa verdura. Her ratio is one kilo of potatoes for every 300 grams of flour. When the potatoes are soft, Domenica drains them thoroughly. She doesn't want them wet. She uses a ricer to mash the potatoes into the flour. Then she kneads the potato mixture just enough to make sure the flour is properly combined. She rolls out a rope of dough about two centimeters in diameter. She slices it to make little pillows. Ci mette un po' di farina perché sa pagarebbero. Poi fai così. Domenica has a light touch. A wooden board is the best work surface and hers is a family heirloom. Plenty of flour stops the gnocchi from sticking. Domenica works her way through all the dough and makes enough for her extended family. Abbiamo finito di fare. Adesso lo dobbiamo cuocere. Gnocchini di Montese! She boils the gnocchi for two minutes. They are ready when they bob to the surface of the water. She adds them immediately to the tomato sauce. To finish, Domenica grates two-year-old Parmigiano Reggiano. A simple dish using wonderful ingredients. Potato gnocchi are delicious. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.